today you join me on my own it's a midweek day and uh, yeah notice available so I'm on my own so what I thought I'd do today is have a look around uh, a hush that we've been passed many times but never explored and apparently there's a lot of interesting stuff up there now I'm facing down the valley because it's windy so if I turn the camera around you might hear the wind on this, I'm not sure what's going on. So, yes, we're going to go up there and have a look on the hush on the left hand side. Apparently, there's a few levels and an open stove, so we shall see. Okay, there's one of the tips to one of the mine levels. Uh, that used to go a long way, uh, but there's a collapse just inside now. But you can see the huge tips there. Well, not huge compared to what we're about to see, but quite a size for what it is. We're now going to head down there where we'll see some much larger tips. Right, guess much longer bike on the car. Uh, yes, this plonker which means I'm going to be rewarded with wet feet because I could go up the stair but the chances of slipping and falling and drowning in the drone are high but instead I'm going to go straight across so wish me luck I am definitely getting wet feet oh yeah there you go but ow slippy oh so wet no wet there we go Hey, nice wet feet. There we are. It is what it is. We shall continue on up the valley to those massive tips up there. This is one thing that I always find is a massive piece of wood. You don't get too much like that these days, and I think it is one piece of wood. Right, they're the tips behind me, but uh, just ahead of me, this has been seen in other videos, but this is the shop. Uh, in case you haven't uh, seen it before, let's take you on a little tour, shall we? Just have to get over the water here. It's a wee bit soggy. Uh, that is the water coming out of the original mine. This is another mine, but uh, yeah, this one's collapsed long ago, so you can't go into this mine, but its shop still exists, as you can see. And we'll just take you on a quick look upstairs, around, and if we go this way, you can see inside. There we go. And see down, down. Underneath, with the water running through down there. There we go, that's the original shop. The, farm, the uh, miners would have lived in here uh, when they weren't mining. And apparently conditions in some of these shops were horrendous. I don't know about this one specifically. It's got plaster, which is good. But yeah, apparently conditions in some of these were horrendous. And farmers, sorry, miners used to uh, rent out rooms from local farmers rather than stay in them. So we're now going to go up here and onto the remains of the original tramway. Right, 
one of the things here, the tips are so huge, there's actually a culvert in the tips. Now, I've never found out where that goes to, because it's a bit tight to get down, and we've never found any sort of other end of it in the tips, so that's uh, quite the mystery, that one. Look down to the bridge that they built. Uh, the road actually goes through the tips, it's like they put a hole in the tips there to get the road through. And there's a push over there that we've explored quite well in the past. And we're heading, well, I'm heading. Right, regular viewers of the channel may uh, have seen the inside of this mine, uh, but you've not seen the outside. I'm not going to tell you which videos are based on that mine, just to keep it quiet, sort of. But yeah, we have multiple videos based in that mine, and it's quite sizable in there. So we're now heading up the valley. Looks like the farmer's working up ahead and see the tractor. But we just see the hush we're going up to on the left. Well, I'm going up to on the left hand side. Right, we're at the base of the hush or valley. I'm not sure if it is a hush or just a valley. This, the aerial shots I've taken on this before, it is absolutely full of tips and stuff. It looks very interesting. It's the one area we haven't explored before, and it's the one that has the most potential. So, we're going to go follow that path up there and see what we can see up here. There's a uh, shot up the main valley there for you. There we go. If we do find anything, not going in today, uh, I might shine a torch down the portal, but we'll come back with the full crew and do some exploration. So, I've just walked up this track at the side, and then I realised I'm an idiot, because I really do need to be in the middle of the valley, not on the track at the side. It's just going to bypass everything. And I won't see stuff on this side, so now you need to go back down here yeah. and I'll walk up the middle. So, yay, yay, me, plonker. Right, right, there's a very grumpy sheep up there that uh, keeps blurting at me, so I'll avoid him. And quickly realizing this is not going to be easy because the track I thought I saw doesn't actually appear to exist. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of good bull horses around, so looking ahead, we've got some uh, a wall ahead and uh, some sort of tape, so let's just see. Here he is, Mr. Grump. Hello, Mr. Grumps, how are you doing? Is that the official track? You seem to know best. Oh well, we'll carry on. Right, I thought you'd like to join me because I've found this strange stone structure at the sort of top of the tip so I'm not sure what's here not been so we're about to find out in live time and it appears to be hmm, yes, it appears to be part of a quarry just gonna make sure there's nothing at the top here which is where you usually find portals but I don't think there's going to be one here but it's always a good idea to have a snout around and check because you never know especially up here and we can confirm that's a no that tip is still heading up the valley there so I'm going to have a look at the top of that see what we can find okay I've arrived at the top of that tip it's a bit hard to go ahead of me and uh, We'll have a quick snout up. Let's see. Just adjusting the gimbal here. What we can see. Hang on. Right. So, if we walk up here. Is it just quarry or is it one of our friendly mines? Right. So, you can see the V coming up here. This is where I traditionally would expect a portal to be. But obviously, this is just a quarry or it's collapsed. I'm going with the theory of quarry, because that's nothing there. So, yeah, we've got a tip here from a quarry. So there must be quarry workings further up there. You can see a tip hooked up just over the top there. So, right, 
I'm going to head back into the valley itself and carry on up. There's stuff over there I need to explore as well, so we'll uh, have a nosy. Right, just around the corner, and there's some huge tips here, so it looks like I've got no option but to climb them. I think we're going to go that way. Oh, what fun! Right, made it to the top, had a bit of a breather, but I'm rewarded with this structure here. Uh, stuff around. Uh, another structure there, I think that's a, a sheep pen thing. But there's brick walls down there, more tips up there. And around here, there's what appears to be, not much on gibble. There's a hole down there. So, investigate that on the way back. Climb down here to climb back up again. No, sorry. So, I'm going to head that way. Have a look at this thing. Shall we do that? Yes, we shall. So, five blocks on the hill, through all the brambles and the shite. Let's uh, have a look at this structure. Don't remember seeing this in drone footage, but it must be. <laughs> So I don't know what this is, some little kind of work place, store or something. Yes. Hmm. Well built, but obviously very old and <laughs> subject to all the, the weather that this place throws at it. It's obviously been destroyed. So, what we're going to do? We're all going to go up there later, uh, that's one of our objectives. I'm not thinking there'll be mines over there, but we'll have a look later. I'm gonna go and head off down that way. Right, a little bit further up in the valley, and one thing we do seem to be coming across quite often is these walls here, which don't appear to be supporting each other. There's quite a few. I can see possibly one up in the distance as well. I have no idea why they're here. If anybody does have a clue, then uh, please let me know. Right, here we are. The, uh, next little stage. Still no signs of mines. Back here from those mining related activity though. Uh, I suspect the mines may be up the sides here. So we'll examine the way back down. But yeah, you can see we've come quite a way up. And the good news is still got quite a way to go. Oh well, let's continue. Right. To uh, show you the view from up here, say that we're in the gods and look at that curiosity over there. There we go. A lot of open stones you could drop into, so hmm, I wonder if that is it. We can find out, don't we? Go have a poke. Right, we have crossed over to the dark side. Here it is. Uh, the torch doesn't seem to shine down there. It's just too big. See, tiny little torch light. But it seems to just drop. I don't know about the over there, but it does. It drops and it's filled in. But it does show there's mine activity in this area. I would not like to go in there because, as you can see, 
it's just loose shitty horrible shale above so yeah not a place you want to be right we've reached the top or at least as far as up as I'm going to go because there doesn't appear to be any mining features up there uh, or there <laughs> that stops there so but there's plenty of stuff up this side and I've seen on the drone loads of stuff up the side there so I'm going to go make my way across there down my favourite direction yay there's a good sense of achievement going up here though you can see for a long way Nice. Right, on my way across, I've come across these. Uh, it's just where this stream's been washing around and eroding away. There is some ochre coming out the left hand side though. You can see where I sort of tried to wash it off the wood, but even that's been washed away. So, yes. The reason I'm pointing these out is because I saw them on drone footage uh, a while ago and I wondered if they were portals, but they're not, it's just the sinkholes. So, that's that mystery solved. Okay, I've arrived at the other side. First person, there. First person I've seen all day. I don't know what it says with the wind. But uh, yeah, you can see it's a uh, mining landscape with this one too. So, uh, not much up there. So, we're going to follow this and see what we can see. Now, that I didn't expect. I uh, wandered over to this pipe to see why there's a pipe in the middle of nowhere sticking up. I'm not going to show you what's inside, but let's just say it's full of dead crows. Why? I have no idea. If you don't know, then please let me know in the comments. And we're going to continue working our way down this place. Uh, yeah. You'd think there'd be portals around here, wouldn't you? But uh, you'd be sadly mistaken. There's nothing. So far, more tips. It's all just quarries. We do have that potential one down the bottom to look at. But so far, no actual mines, just quarrying. Um, so, let's see if something does turn up. So far, nada. Been a good explorer. There's a lot of history around here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Has that come out of that hole? Or some kind of shaft? How much we're going to down a bit of a blind alley because I have no going on there. At least not when I'm solo, just in case. Uh, break a leg. So I think we're gonna work way back up and work down the side of the valley. Uh, I think that one we found with the, the hole is still further down the valley so that's okay. So we'll go back up there and work away across. But yeah just making my way down and just look at that rock face there. Just cracks around down the back of it, just waiting to go boosh one day when the ice pushes it further. That's gonna be impressive when that goes. Nice. Now, this is the little valley I'm gonna climb down to uh, the other, that last one. Uh, it was not pleasant to say the least. Right. right, just slightly further on, I think I've found signs of something. This appears to me to be. A shaft, which is quite good. I think that's a shaft. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that's a shaft. Which means there is likely a portal around here somewhere. We did see something down there, so we're going back to that area now. We can go and investigate uh, that hole we saw. Looks like I can get back down there. It's a massive drone here. To annoy me. Talking, talking. Let's head down there and uh, 
let's see what we can see. Right, look at that. Right, this is that uh, circular structure that we saw on the way up. Uh, we now get to visit it and explore it. So let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, it is just a circular structure. So it's likely, I would say, no expert, but I reckon this is some sort of uh, sheep house. So yeah, at least we got to visit it. Note to self, when exploring alone, don't come through stuff like this because I just had a little accident. I just fell down a hole there. Not loud, not down, but I fell forward into it with my knee bashing on a rock. That's smarty. But luckily, it seems to be okay. I've only got a slight wobble, so I'm gonna make it back. But yes, more of this stuff, so I'm gonna go off to the side and try and bypass it. <sighs> Learn that lesson the hard way. See if we can find that hole down there. Right, I'm at what we thought was a hole on the other side, and yeah, it appears it's just ground slump from a little stream running beneath. So, not even that's a mine. This place hurt my knee for nothing. Oh well, that's where we were standing when we saw it originally. Right, let's make our way back down. No mines for us today, apart from that slump, uh, that hole near the top, that's curious. But yeah, I don't think I'll be going in that one because it's uh, a bit collapsy. Right. Well, no new mines today for me, unless you count that open stope, I don't think that actually goes anywhere. Might worth a check sometime, but you know, been good exercise. We've seen a lot of uh, mining history and historic buildings. Uh, if you like these sort of surface explorers, then uh, please let me know in the comments and we'll make some more. And uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter. And if you wish to support the channel, you can do by joining or using the super thanks below. Thank you all very much.